I think there's two ways to think about this, Wendy and Steph, because whether we were talking about 20% time or passion projects, uh, which led really to the more formal work of, of Spark, we were always talking about empathy. We were always talking about those global uh, connections. And now when we're in the midst of this global pandemic where students can really see how interconnected the world is, right? We're, not, we're no longer just New Jerseyans. We're, we're no longer just citizens of Middletown, but citizens of the world. And when there are issues in the world, eventually, particularly health-related issues, but that we would say the same thing about economy. And this really, Wendy speaks so much to the, glo the global competencies, global citizenship, and empathy. When we, when we treat everyone as citizens, citizens of the world, and we see how connected we are, we see in this moment how important this is, how important this is. And then the second thing is, I would say our work with personalized learning, students working independent, really did set us up for um, the virtual world that students are learning in right now. I mean, me and Wendy honestly have done this together. <laughs> like we have started from the very beginning. I feel like the whole concept of like personalized learning in our district was very organic in the, in the beginning. It started off with like just a few teachers, me and Wendy were two of them. And we were just passionate about bringing like student passions into the classroom. So we had our own classrooms at the time. I was, I was in elementary classrooms and Wendy was in middle school classrooms. And we implemented something called Genius Hour. And that's a concept that was originally a business practice of Google, where they basically let their employees have 20% of their time at work to work on a passion project. So when I was a classroom teacher, I, I've taught first grade, third grade, and fifth grade, and I've done this Genius Hour personalized learning projects at the time with all of them. Um, and basically what it is, Genius Hour is just allowing the students to pick something that's of interest to them or pick something that they feel like they're you know, could be good at or have a strength in and basically just allow them time to explore it. It was really eye opening because as a secondary teacher, you're very, you're a content expert. So you tend to feel at first a little uneasy straying or what you think you're, you're straying from the curriculum. But really, when you really look at what standards you're hitting and Stephanie, I've both realized this over the years, you're hitting so many New Jersey student learning standards through these types of projects that we should be hitting in all content areas anyway, like the different literacy standards, the speaking and listening standards, all the research that goes into these projects. So for us, it was really, it evolved. And every year it got more and more um, rigorous, more and more authentic for the students. And so we kept trying to up the ante every year. Like we kept trying to make it even more meaningful. And the more people that got involved across the districts, the more connections we made and our kids could really connect. And that's when kind of the whole idea of the, of the innovation fair and the, um, the different building fair started because we had so many kids that wanted to show what they had created or what they had, um, you know, experimented with or what, they, what charity they had helped that we wanted to give them a platform for that. So I think what that means too is we're taking this curricular initiative of personalized learning and now we're connecting it to uh to bullying and to social emotional learning because when we start with empathy our elementary uh initiative with responsive classrooms and creating a positive culture of respect in the classroom empathy empathy is such an important part of that and from there we can build to global competencies, global citizenship, uh, an understanding of our responsibility to humanity, to fellow human beings, to different cultures, um, to, to, to different countries, uh, to different continents. All of this then, I feel like, comes together to uh, a more important purpose of lifelong learning. I think that empathy is definitely a huge connection between um, both 
personalized learning and definitely obviously global education. Um, I think that these, pro these personalized learning projects have just naturally promoted empathy. And Dr. George, like you mentioned, you know, it's very hard for students, particularly younger students to kind of go beyond their world that they see, you know, every day beyond themselves specifically, and then also the world around them. So I think that these projects um, really promoted them to think about beyond themselves, think about other people, think about the struggles that they had. Yeah, and I think our job as educators moving forward, and we had talked about this before, is that sadly, you know, this global pandemic, um, I think has made us all realize we are, you know, citizens of the world, but that when this is over, and hopefully that soon, our students realize that there's challenges affecting other people that may never affect us here in America, but that they have that empathy and remember how this time felt for them and how other people are dealing with these kinds of challenges every day.